what is holding us down. A lot of things is the problem. But I know sometimes many of you will be looking in another direction. We have a very big problem. Those that call themselves the Facebook celebrities, they are not speaking on the enslavement list they found themselves in Nigeria. They are not talking about it. They are busy making themselves popular and making their money. And because they are, they are so lucky, because our people are so gullible, they praise you when you are being selfish. They praise you because they want to get something from you. I don't want to blame you because of the system you find yourself in. That's why we have what we call hero worshippers. Our people don't care for humanity. You are going to listen to Mazunam the Kano with a British guy who called in in the radio Java and start telling him what we are passing through. And I begin to ask myself, do these, these people that call themselves uh, Facebook celebrities, call themselves Facebook um, content creators. That's what they call Okulora. His job is to bring those that are sick and then they contribute money. And they fly the person maybe abroad or go to any hospital, treat that, that one person, they come back. Another person will raise up hand and say, please, come and help me. And he's busy junking in there. You know, you know, our people are very gullible. Our people will hardly support somebody that is fighting for their entire freedom. The guy now has to himself, now he's seeing himself as a hero. That his, his prestige will die off if Nigeria sinks. You know, sometimes when we speak about it, people say it's envy. And that is why I always showcase what I do for a living. It's not bragging. Had it been many of you don't know what I do for a living. Some of you, anytime you see me here and I want to come in your mind, yes, you want to come because they are paying him. This is what will be in your mind. You will not even be thinking about what I'm preaching. You will be thinking about what is he getting. So that's why I, I make it open. I don't hide it. I'm a civil engineer in my profession. That's what I read. A civil engineer. That's what I read. And um, and I distinguish myself in the same field. Structural. Masters in structural engineering. Bachelor civil engineering. Uh, you can call it the bragging. We know why you make it open. So that you, you will not begin to think that when we are beginning to talk about the stupidity of other people, you say we are envy. What am I envying? What? what, what? Just like when we are when we are holding this criminal in Finland accountable, some of you say I'm envy. You are envying him. Somebody that is living in Finland, I, I'm living in Austria. We don't have the same field of studies, even though he claimed to be a lawyer, which he is not. I'm not dragging anything with him. What is the purpose of envy there now? Methuselah can never hold any position in the IPOB. I know why I say so. It's not that I, I didn't marry to hold position. They have already called me. I said, no, I want to be in my background. I didn't see anything big in it. Because even to take a position, the IPOB is suffering. <laughs> they tell you, it's suffering. That's why I pity many of them that have position. You know, sometimes when we come out here, we say those in leadership, those in, all, all the very easy to talk with mouth. But it's all about dedication. That is why you see those that are falling off because they are not strong. I know why I choose this platform. I think I'm going to be using this platform to grow the platform so that a lot of people will know that it's me. Because um, I remember when I post, I make him, um, I post this, our sister, I think our sister Omote say, she thought that uh, maybe somebody is using it to be blogging my news. That is why I want to use this platform. I don't care um, how it's going to be in the couple of days. Let us listen to Mazen Namdekano. And then you will now begin to tell yourself that those those idiots i call them i know some of you will say this boy don't have respect you have you are, you, do, you yourself you are valueless you don't have value so why would i talk to you with respect you have never achieved anything in your life outside begging yes envy and jealous N nothing like a ngo here ngo is not here. ngo that is here the one that is helping africa 
It's not that they're really helping Africa. They suck money from there. Maybe if they get one million dollars from Nigeria, they will use like hundred thousand for charity. So that is what is called NGO. You know, when you hear NGO, you think they don't have poor people here. You think they are stupid. They will suck you dry through your oil. Then they will give you one percent of what they looted from that place, and you'll be clapping, saying that nah, these people they are good. Now let us listen to Mazen Nambikam. Then after you listen to this program, you begin to tell yourself that these are our people that are claiming to be bloggers, claiming to be celebrities, claiming to be NGO media warrior, NGO celebrities, content creators. If you see the way they do this, they are this and I, I don't know how, if it's possible, I want to delete all of them from my Facebook so that I will not jam them. Some more thing they will be shouting. Come, we'll come and see what is going on now. Come and see what is going on now. Now, uh, Baba, Peter, uh, uh, don't lash him. He don't like, he don't like people now. They are fire on the mountain. What is it? Nothing. He go, oh yeah, watch, watch. Just watch, comment, and share it now. As you're watching, don't forget to share the like, the, click the like button. That is what they're after. And some of you are healing them. You, when you see us, because uh, you know our job is, we get our reward from Chugo Kigabiam. We don't ask any individual to give us reward. You don't value our own. Because, you know, most of the successful thing in life is unseen. The process to achieve success in life, most of the mo mostly is unseen. You can't even feel it un unless the success arrives. You don't feel what we're doing. But you know, because they will bring a sick person, maybe say somebody the 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 the, the cheek is swollen like this. I say, hey, I'm, my name is Okulor. Uh please donate, donate now. This girl is about to die. We need to, we need like uh, one million to take to take her to the hospital. Please donate, donate. Now, I will give 50,000 on my own. Okay, 50,000 on your own. Just, and all, all, all normal. I'm, I'm not against it. Um, I'm giving 50,000 to support. Please donate. People, people will be calling from different countries. They donate. Probably what they need is what? Is money to take care of the person. And then they will treat it. They will bring it. Say, wow, you are my hero. You are our hero. As you are doing that, we expect you to be preaching about the necessity to get the system done. I'm not, um, I, I didn't say people shouldn't be helped. Or maybe we should wait. When we get freedom, we we'll begin to help people. No. I say helping people. You are using your platform to preach the gospel. To tell your people what have, what have happened to them. Why they are in this their situation. This is what is missing. Now let us listen to a white man. The, what this man will say now, many of you must, many of you may, may not have heard about it. He's a white journalist. You now, you will now begin to reason. Compare this man now that is going to speak with those people that are claiming to be content creators at home, bloggers, gossipers, I call them. So, sir, today, I am going to work on my work. 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 Hello, this is Radio Biafra London. Hi. Hello, please, um, can you give our listeners your name and where you are currently based, please? My name is Fergus Dodd. I live in London. And where do you come from originally? In uh, Ireland, County you're, Sligo, Ireland. You're from Ireland, which um, has the capital, which Dublin is the capital of, isn't it? Mm. Yes, that is correct. Yes, we, under, we reported on the website of Radio Bia for London and told our listeners um, a few weeks ago that you're organizing an e-petition. Um, because after this discussion with you, we have to translate in our language as well. You're organizing an e-petition about Biafra. What led you to do this? What is your interest in Biafra, please? Well, I, I read the book, The Biafra Story, written by Frederick Forsyth. Mm -hmm. You may have heard of Frederick Forsyth. And yes. it literally shocked me. I, I had known about the horrors of the Biafran War before, and I had known the British support. But I, what I didn't know was how Britain was perhaps mainly responsible, perhaps even more responsible th than the night. Are you hearing it? My how oral? <laughs> are you hearing it? Yeah, ma. Are you listening from the village? <laughs> Otto Palot, are you listening from the village? And I know you will not understand this one. Let's see. Yeah, what, what? <laughs> this is um, somebody is from Ireland. He's from Ireland. The federal Nigerian government mm -hmm. for the Biafran War. 
for example, uh, it is written, I read in that book that uh, after in 1966, General Gowan and the Nigerian government wanted to accept a loose confederation. They were, it's not only the Igbos, the Biafrans, but if the Muslims in northern Nigeria wanted their own state as well. So you're saying, so, sorry Fergus to, to cut in here, because we have, to, we have to, there is need for us to make this abundantly clear for our listeners, yes. because this program is yes. going out to the whole world. What you're yes. saying from your research is that yes. even the Hausa Fulani people wanted yes. to go their own separate way as well. Is that what you're saying? Right. Yes. Yes. Okay, continue please. Yes. Um, the, I've read in the book, I've got it right in front of me here on page 157. Uh, General Gowan intended to announce the dissolution of the Nigerian Federation, and he wanted a loose, uh, I suppose, a loose federation yes. of Nigeria. The Confederation, uh, but yes. The, yeah, but the then High Commissioner in Lagos, the British High Commissioner, Sir Francis Cumming Bruce, stopped him from doing that, persuaded him not to do that. Now, uh, for their own selfish interests, Britain wanted to keep Nigeria together. Not for the good of our people there, but the British wanted to keep Nigeria for oh, her okay. own economic interests. And they demanded that Nigeria must stay together. And uh, it, it seemed almost inconsequential that a million people died. They knew of the tortures because it was a British imperial policy to divide and conquer. That's how a few, a handful of British could control literally millions, tens of millions of people. They actually, um, when Nigeria was a British colony, they, the Igbos were educated under the British and they actually brought them in to the Hausa areas, the Muslim areas, as sort of middlemen. The British were on top, the Hausa, the Muslims were in at the bottom, and the sort of Igbos were the professional people. And the British liked this arrangement, and they were happy to keep them separate. Now, uh, I'm not justifying in any way the persecution of the Igbos or what the Muslims did, but naturally a resentment built up amongst the Muslims against the Igbos, because the Igbos were seen like the Jews of Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And we all know what happened to the Jews in Europe when they became successful. It created envy and they were persecuted and it ended in the Holocaust. Yes. And it's horribly similar what happened in, uh, to the Igbos in Nigeria. So, so ca can you then tell us, because you're, we, you're giving us a very wonderful insight this evening, especially from the yes. perspective of a European, um, yeah. Now, what you're saying in effect is that even Gowan himself, who came out later on to say that he will do everything within his powers to keep Nigeria as one, wasn't yeah. doing that because he believed in it. He was doing it because the British told him to do it. Yes, yes, that's basically what I am saying. Now, I know uh, many Igbos are angry at Gowan and at the Hausa, but... Uh, I mean, there are some people who say Gowan was basically a good man who was just being used by the British. For example, after the Biafran War was over, he didn't ethnically cleanse or he didn't persecute and he, he ensured that there was no triumphalism after the Biafran War. Yes. And Gowan himself was not a rich man. And it, when he was uh, deposed in a military coup, he came to Britain and actually lived as an ordinary citizen. And now I know there are many Igbos who disagree with me on that, but I'm looking at it from a European perspective, I suppose. Please, um, can, can you then tell us why, what motivated you, why are you interested in this? Because um, there is no need or reason for you to be fighting for people that you don't, you know, um, you're not related to. Mm. Uh, you're a European, you're a white man, um, Biafra is in black Africa. What prompted you to, to go as far as setting up an e-petition trying to get the British government to apologize to the, to not just to the Biafrans, but to acknowledge their mistake and in, in trying to keep Nigeria one. Right. Well, basically, it, it was just plain wrong what happened. But I suppose the catalyst for it was the hypocrisy of Britain. Britain still goes on about the Second World War and what Germany did and how they should never be allowed to forget. Just a second. You may have uh, seen the Britain, Britain still goes on about Germany and the, how they shouldn't be allowed to forget and what they did and how terrible it was. And the hypocrisy just literally sickens me. Britain likes to go on about what other countries did and yet they boast about 
how they civilised other people, how they helped other people and they didn't do anything bad in their own empire, just made a few mistakes. And I think Britain should know, the British people should know what was done in their name. Yes. And remember, Britain was a, a democracy when this happened, when they orchestrated the uh, campaign against the Biafran people. Yes, um, that's very thoughtful of you, and thank you very much. So, um, what message do you have for for some Biafrans, for some Igbo people who haven't really taken up this mantle of recognizing that there is need for Biafra to be fought for? Right. Well, basically, uh, I would hope. Uh, I know you've suffered under the Muslims, uh, a, a minority of Muslims, and I know you're still suffering with Boko Haram. Yes. But I. I mean, would it be possible for you to reach out to the Muslims? The majority of Muslims are good, decent people, and yes. their history shows that. Would it be possible for you to reach out to the Hausa, the Muslims, and the Yoruba, and to say to them a free Biafra would also mean a free Hausa Fulani, a free northern Nigeria, a free Yoruba state, and they could all follow their own destiny, but and they, they could all follow their own natural destiny without been imposed by the British. Yes, but, but the thing is that the, there is a lot of um, oil in the in the southeast. And yes. as you well know, what oil does to people, wherever you find oil in the world, there's, <laughs> there's um, always a scramble for it. So the, yes. the Nigeria, everybody wants to go. The, yes. the Arewa people want to go. The Yoruba yes. people of the Odua um, 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 Republic, they want to go. And the Biafrans, they also want to go. But the thing is... Um, is the oil, you know, what happens to it? Because there is a lot of money coming from it. Most of the people that control public opinion in Hausa Fulani territory do not have any other means of livelihood. They cannot, you know, we're not saying that they're lazy, but they have no other means to try and make money. That is the thing. So they are accustomed to money coming from oil revenue. So what are they going to do? Or, or are you advising the, the Biafrans to allow the existing formula for the vision of the revenue to continue in perpetuity as a way of assuaging whatever fears that they may have? No, I wouldn't. I, I've heard this stuff about the House of Alani, and I feel it's a little patronizing. They were the most advanced. They were very advanced people. Hundreds of years ago, they were building great cities. That's correct. And when the British came to Nigeria, they liked this, found a feudal system and they liked it and they kept it that way and kept them frozen in their, in that feudal system because it suited them. They didn't allow them to develop like other Islamic societies which are successful. I would also say that the oil revenue, it made the Biafran people suffer, or the Igbo, but it was also used to persecute the rest of Nigeria. Mm. Because when a government has oil revenue, they, they are not accountable to the people. They don't have to collect taxes. They don't have to develop other industries. That is correct. So all the Nigerian military or the federal government had to do, they didn't have to collect taxes. They just had to collect oil money. They, they were just accountable, basically, to Shell and BP and these people, not to their people. Mm -hmm. And they could use that oil money to persecute the Igbos, but also persecute the Muslims and persecute the Yorubas. And I think if it was independent, the House of Fulani, uh, it would be one of the great, the greatest Islamic states in the world. I mean, I've, I've seen the Emir of Kano interviewed. He's a very good man, a very man who has sought peace, and I think the majority of Muslims are like that. Okay. And I know with this uh, violence against Christians, clerics, Muslim clerics have come together with Christians and have said pointedly that it's, it's not the Muslim, it's not in the Koran that is supporting this, it's the politicians for their own selfish interests. Okay. And I, uh, you know, I, I think it would be good... A free Biafra would mean a free House of Fulani. It would mean a free Yoruba. I'd also like to mention Yoruba, a legal state under its uh, governor, Babatunde Fishola. It is now very successful, and it shows what it could achieve if it didn't have to be under the federal government of Nigeria. I think all Nigerians, or all of what is now Nigeria, would benefit. So what you're saying from um, from a European perspective, for a white person, yeah. what you're saying as an outsider looking in is that Nigeria will be better off 
for yeah. everybody to, 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 to go to their country and develop their country as Babatunde Fashola is doing in Lagos State. Yes, yes, exactly. Okay. Thank you very much. And uh, can you tell us then about the e-petition? Because we want to encourage um, all Biafrans and all Nigerians, as a matter of fact, including Hausa and Fulani people who live in the UK, to go online yes. to sign the petition. Um, yes. What else can you tell us about that? Very briefly, please. Right. Well, to be honest with you, I'm not too clever about stuff like Facebook and Twitter. <laughs> so I, I, I know Nigerians are, of all races are very good at that. I, I was wondering if they could not only sign it themselves, but get their friends to sign it and advertise it on social networks. Okay. That, that, is, that is what we can do from here. I think Radio Biafra can do that and do that very well. Do you know what he, the, the man is at? You know what he called? He prepared a petition for British to come and apologize to the people they brought together without having anything in common. He created a petition. He's not asking for money from individuals. Whatever he wanted to do with it is is to it is own um, uh, interest, but at least it's also in our in our own favor. Nika jump in, may we fundraise, may we super chat, create your account if you want to comment. You pay 500, 500 naira, one thousand five hundred gold. We have silver, have bronze. Whoever that is responsible for our own creation, shame on you. The manager would say, what can we do? Just help, just help people. Uh, on a, a white man is telling you, please help me sign the petition so that the British government will come and apologize to those that have slaughtered by bringing them together. That is his own concern. He said he's doing this thing for so that the people, the citizen of the British will be aware what happened. Some of them didn't know what their forefathers did. Our own one Our own here can and I shall to I shall to the She would declare like maybe my own. Before I go play this bitch away, I'll be a queer queen camera here. The letter was I see you, sir. There's a blessing see you all on news. Nine on a five. Also, don't sue the matter to give, give her advice. Eh? See, eh? Yeah. my brother, no matter the level where you get for this life, eh? Eh? never you in your life yeah. pray to go prison or say that is the bad place. Anyway, here the video because sometimes, eh, no matter who you be, try to listen to the word of God. That is eh, the word of all these big, big pastors. It will change your life. Listen carefully. Actually, if share them, share them. Okay. You should listen to the word of the big pastors. It will change your life. How I wish I can get hold of hydrogen missile. I will, I will, I will, I will blow it there, including me. Let everybody go. These people they call their safe celebrity. Look at what. Look at the advice. Look at his own advice. To, tomorrow now he call himself a journalist. Like Obi Wan. Obi Wan say he's he's studying journalist. <laughs> he's, he's doing he's doing journalism. Na German, me na German ako on English. Onye she Ukraine land ya, she Ukraine bossa. Na okira mala no me studying journal journalism. I go try then so that go make a feed here on Facebook. Look here, okay. Look here, also onye wala share. She he cannot share the video. Ogola, ogola, ogola here, ogola their job brothers. This thing na go chop kwa, but I know many of you will be taking it as a joke. Look here. Anyway, the video yeah. because sometimes say no matter who you be, try to listen to the word of God. Look at say, the word of all these big big pastors. It can change life. Can you listen carefully? Actually, if share them, share them. They don't want to see you. Share the video. When they give an advice, relationship therapist, she declared court order. Yes, ma'am. She even declared like come on, get out from there, idiot. There are many of them. There are many of them in the on social media. Many. So many of them. So many of them. Mm -hmm. I can't come and see you. Come and see what is going on now. You can't believe it. Peter, Peter just come out now. You don't, you don't verse. You don't verse. You talk, say, say, make everybody relax. Say, you go, you go win in the court. Share, share, you just share them. And before you do like this, do like this, more than 5,000, 6,000 have shared. 
now this British they are very smart. They, they didn't only loot our resources, they destroy our brain. Had it been they loot our resources and leave brain for us, we would not have a problem. They they loot us, they loot us dry, and they stole our brain. They, 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 they brought this, they are all these, they are missionaries to infect these idiot called pastors now. They are not, they are, they are the one in charge of our brain. Eba haga the ma. Eba haga the good. I just now, but I ain't trying, we are trying our best. A bloody revolution. Only humongous. Everybody. This one, I won't have the bloody revolution, uh, Fulani against the Biafra, or Biafra against. Everybody, internal, internal, external. I've been with mutual respect. Oh, this is um, a British man. Um, yeah. We are very, very grateful to you because we're running out of time. We're very grateful to you for your contribution this evening. And yeah. um, as we say where we come from, we must always um, invoke God um, in all things that we do. We ask God to continue to guide. Right, right. Okay, yes, yeah, go on. The petition just has 98 signatures at the moment. Please, okay. it has only three months left to run if it yes. needs 100,000 signatures. So if if people could accelerate the uh, petition signing, yes. and it can be debated in Parliament. But, but, I, I don't believe that the British government today would persecute Nigeria, but if they were to apologise... We could have a situation like South Sudan, or we could even have a situation like Scotland, that people could at least debate this. Thank you very much. So please, um, we must reiterate that what you're saying in effect is that the importance, the significance of a British government apology, not just yes. to Biafrans, but to the whole of Nigeria in relation yes. to the war, will make it far more easier for old yes. wounds to be healed will make it far more easier for the country to progress. So it is in yes. the interest of progress and to an extent unity in Nigeria that people go online to sign this petition. Is that what you're saying? Yes. And you can get this petition by actually going to the website of um, Radio Biafra. If you go to Radio Biafra website, www.radiobiafralondon.com, there's a link that takes you to this um, e-petitions page to be able to sign the petition. So it is important that anybody listening, if you live in the United Kingdom, that you try and go online to the website radiobiafralondon.com, follow the link and click on the e-petition. Um, please, can you clarify again, please, Fergus? Is anybody going to arrest you if you do this? Are you going to be thrown in the jail in the United Kingdom if you do this? No, not at all. Britain is a free country. I mean, uh, you can be a Scots nationalist, you can be a Welsh nationalist, there's even English people who are nationalists, so I mean that's that's ridiculous. There's no way you can be thrown in jail. It's a, it's a good country. What a, whatever it I've is. said about apologising, Britain is a very good country. It I'm is. an immigrant, and I'm very grateful. Thank you very much. Country in the whole world. Thank you very much for joining us this evening. We are very grateful. Thank you very much. Um, Kanye malite, kanye na biko barista, meka malite barista biko kwa wala nyo tule na sosu anye inye mpote na inye mwo kama wala nyo na bali ya biko. Um, oka. It's okay. It's okay, hold on there. It's okay. Lekwa, lekwa nyanka, lekwa kia, lekwa nyanka, lekwa kia. Wakwa nde nyo na Facebook about Sabozi. They don't care. They don't care what is going on. They don't know even how, they don't know the, they don't know the history of Nigeria. They know nothing. They know nothing about Nigeria. Okay, when Before you know it, or the wait. before you know it, or and for the new moon, we work there. On a new world, we will live. On a chain, I will not fall soon. On a new day, I will not have any sin. On a new day, I will not fall. The one you can't copy. The brain, the brain, the brain. On social media, oh, the brain, the brain. Hmm. The one you can't copy. You may want to add the weight. Ha, 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 ha.
<laughs> if you have many, have many people that are confused and all, I want your mother. I want your mother had these serious. I want your mother a serious thing that is happening. I want to come up with some I shall know do go. How how we talk about their own family problem. I'm about to say, giri giri giri. I'm a chapel. I'm a jiko. I'm a jiko. I'm not going to share some like. Good, good, good. In the modern era, become. Good, in the back of the hand, wow. Oh, everywhere there's calamity. Everywhere, everywhere. Now, the question is, okay? I don't have power. I don't have power. He has money. He has money. Everywhere there's problem. When you say Allah is a big one, when you cast on a ton to lion, who who big a gig 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 gig? Then you smoke the king in the canal. Do? Huh? Okay. Let's check on the other man. Then I talk. I want to reach a ton in form of animal. Yes. The king of lion Oh, for the buffalo, na 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 na. Before you talk, look at the tall one in form of a good. Look at them too. I have a tall one with a man. One more here, just a little younger. You know, here, but I'm going to tell you. What I'm going to tell you now? You go there, there. You go there. Hmm. Hmm. So how how we make this program? You can't go there. You can't go there. Everywhere. Every family now is a comedy, comedian. Every family now is a comedian. But everywhere there's problem. They can't even. They don't know that. They even if you if you call them now as them say, do you know that Nigeria has been sold to British? Some of you that are crying and saying, "Na British, you are in charge. Why are you dictating what is going to happen to us?" They don't know the history. Look at how much is sold. And the, the worst part of it is that everything is on internet. Everything on the internet. Look here, look here, look here, look here, look here, the place, the country. Who knows who knows how all the good people be born and grow up. Look here. Following the revoking of his charter, this is Royal Niger Company. Look here. Who sold? Look here, who sold? Who sold Nigeria to British? Look here, look here, look here. In 1899, some of you don't know about Royal Niger Company. This is almost equivalent to 50 billion. Or fifty trillion, sorry, fifty trillion as at at today's exchange rate. I hear already ten, and that is why it pains me. All these say, uh, "Will show you in card them?" All these people claiming to be professor. When they talk about Nigeria, 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 I, I wonder. They don't ask yourself, "What is the origin of this thing we are calling country?" Yeah, I, I, our brother said he's jobless. Oh, no, jobless now. Okay. At least double into things now to help your people. And with a lot of news about our people. And with a lot of things that will help them wake them up. If not, I'm a comedy to let it in. Um, I think I have it here. Let me see if I'll be able to. I posted it. Many of you saw it. I posted it. I think let me play the one that many of you have never seen before. Let me see whether this thing can be able to see it clearly. This is what happened to our people. With all the government jobs for each Kano okay. for a flying camera. Right, this is big. The television is big. Right from the beginning. Let me see what uh it took Ebos, it took Tausia, it took Yoruba. Let me see. British General and Andre Kouli Kouli one day received a memorable visit. Now, our, our Norwegian mission, mm -hmm. we have had a terrible with Ebos and Easterners leave the skull right to the bone. Yeah, out there, they, they, they were, it was hot. They, they had been um, injured to, to the point that they couldn't get in. And one might say, well, why didn't somebody come out and get them in? Well, there's two reasons for that. One, Everybody was so busy with so many people that had so many needs, they, 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 they just had their hands full. The other was there were Hausa gangs not more than 20 yards away sitting on some rocks and boulders with their machetes, with some clubs, and, and you, could, you looked into their eyes and you knew that they were waiting for the opportunity to go down and finish the job. 
What is the job? So we the, went the back Igbos. into the compound. We got a makeshift stretcher. When you hear finish the job, use the Igbo people to finish them. And you destroy Christianity in our land. That's the, that, that's the thing that weakens our mind. And you destroy it. And over the course of time, we, we brought each man in and took them to where they were giving medical attention. Chaos. Pure chaos is what I remember. We saw children walking around, not knowing where their parents were. We saw parents walking around. And you knew that they were waiting for the opportunity to go down and finish the job. To finish them. So we went back into the compound. We got a makeshift stretcher. And over the course of time, we, we brought each man in and took them to where they were giving medical attention chaos chaos pure chaos is what i remember we saw children walking around. look at your brothers these are the Igbo people that uh, their parents were killed in jaws they don't know who knows where they are now some of them are being hatched to death some of them are the one that are, you see today they're talking about uh, one nigeria because they were small they didn't know what happened their parents have been killed Look at them in the police station. This is what our people are passing through. But nobody speaks about these things. Nobody speaks about these things. And that is why I begin to ask, what were our, for, the, our fathers? They didn't know about this. This is the white people are showing us now. This is from the white people. Missionaries. So the job of missionaries is not to, is not to help you. It's not to help you, to save you, or to safeguard you. They can, this is the same thing we are witnessing now. None of the Christian country can come and help us. No, nobody. Their job is to help you spiritually so that you can get to heaven. That them themselves have never been before. Around, not knowing where their parents were, we saw parents walking around calling for their children. Carrie Robison is a junior at Hillcrest. Her parents are Assemblies of God missionaries stationed back in the east. I remember God. seeing a lot of very, very, very wounded people. I remember noise. I remember crying. I remember screaming. There was an area which there were a few doctors uh, uh, and nurses that were attending uh, to some of the people that were in the worst of, of, of need. That was the horrible part. There were a lot of head wounds, is what I remember. And they were vicious wounds, like machete chops. Uh, I remember seeing a strong men with the muscles cut all the way to the bone. I remember punctured eyeballs. I remember uh, arrows through the cheeks, holes, Arrow. and uh, machete chops to the skull. Right look, to right, the look, bone. look at look, look at them here. You look can right. tell they'd lost it. Look at look at them. Look at them. Look at your brothers. Foolish people. Foolish idiot. And they're, today they are still talking about religion. Okay, what we, what we are going to do, churches in our land, or when we have social media, when, he, when, he, when his whole revolution will start, many of you will be aware. I'm aware he's not going to be on social media. He's not going to be We are only exposing what is going on. But we can't allow this religion to be in our land. They, are, they, do, they do nothing. Shame on many of you that are still upholding to this nonsense. You want to go to heaven. If you don't keep your hands clean, you go to hellfire. Jesus is not shining from this struggle in your area. Carry that prayer on one side. Prayer that doesn't do anything. I got in a heart. I got in a heart. Hardened. Like what happened in Bayelsa today, I love it, in Yenugo. And I book it, they say he used knife. Stab somebody to death. They beat him, they are dead. That's how it's supposed to be. That's how life. This is Old Testament. I, I book it. Had it been this thing happening, uh, maybe say in Imo or in, um, in Anambra, only came before I know it, uh, Boba police. Hey, leave him now, leave him. Why are you beating? Why are you taking loss into your hand? Yes, he killed somebody, but let police come and take this. And please don't do this thing. It's not good. And Aboki carrying a dagger, kill somebody. They beat him to death. 
Normal, I got to be family. You know. Go hara. That is why some of you are talking about forgiveness. Mas, let us let us forgive these people now and, and work together. We are one people. We are pursuing the same thing. I don't know the kind to go grab a girl. Your mind from so many uh, head wounds and trauma. Linda Scolton is a friend of John Price's, also a Hillcrest sophomore. She lives at Mountain View, the hostel for MKs from the Christian Reformed Church. Christian. We would wash the wounds, try to give some kind of comfort measure, and we could give them aspirin, give them a drink, um, Not they a pillow under their head or a blanket or something, just try to make them comfortable. I remember specifically um, using these big, long tweezers to pick maggots Child. out of a face wound. My God. We were cleaning his wounds literally so that he could be stitched up. The amazing part was we saw our missionary teacher friends. We saw our high school kids from Hillcrest. These were our kids. More Ebos and Easterners keep appearing at the police compound. Preparations move forward to begin hauling them out of Joss by lorry, train, and plane. One of the first planes out is a mission plane. On board, Bob Parham, who accompanies a few wounded... They can't save them now. Their job is to evacuate them. That's their job. They will have prayed now so that the fight will stop. Ebos back to the east. But some, like the Cooley's faculty and students, remain in hiding. Our friends told us uh, there will be a plane coming through on such a day. So I asked the nun if I could just stay there and clean his head, and she said yes. And then he asked me if I could be his daughter because everyone in his family had been killed except for his older daughter that he thought was my age. And I said, yes. And then he asked me if I would um, sing some hymns, hymns and quote scripture for him. Okay. And so I did. I did Psalm 23, and I also did the Lord's Prayer. Uh -huh. Good night, and I sang the Lord's Prayer to him. And he died. And then he just said to me, I'm going home, my daughter. He died. Yeah. And he died. He died. He died. Now, plane. It's okay. It's okay. Come up here. here. I'll say I got here lost prayer. Psalm 23 and um, Hermel. After he, he's, he, he finished reciting it. Yeah, where my daughter? I'm going home. Yeah, I'm going home. Weak people. Weak. 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 If we can't do things in the right way, I pass us every one other against we can. I tell you. Psalm 23, verse 23. We want to do prayer now. We want to go and do prayer for Biafra. Because Biafra is spirit. Oh, Abara is spirit. Many of you don't understand how this word functions. Putin, that is fighting here and there. Did you see him praying as he's walking around? Settling his army. Taking over territory. Did you see him praying? Uno, 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 this struggle. My abuse. Uno, but, uh, so many of you, but uh, this struggle. Abuse this struggle. I'm going to do it. Uh, uh, director, can I sing music now? I want to sing a song. Director, so go on. Uh, can I pray for you now? I want to pray for you. Father Lord, I want to bless you these days. In Jesus' name we pray. Look at look at one here. Look at one. One is quoting Bible in the radio uh, According to story of um Nebuchadnezzar. Uh, this uh, what is the this people they put in the, into the lion's den. And the lion didn't touch the person. No work on no war zone. No, not even lion or fight. Also, the which story they say they said them ablaze and the fire didn't. Is it uh, Paul and Silas? How, how did they put it? The three people they say they put they say they should bow down. Let me bring it. 
Oh, somebody man, I do be afraid. They are common sense. We no charge the free. Tars, we do mention on on dara. Let me see if I see it. If I do be afraid, they are be good to learn the Bible. But we hand touch akor 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 akor. Let me see if what I have here. He should now listen. If you go to the book of the throne, uh, the book of uh, Daniel, okay. chapter three. Okay. When Nebuchadnezzar rose an image, all the people under Babylon to bow down to the image made by him. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego said it is an abomination. Come on, this is a fun news on that. I'm not sure freedom. Nah, soon the man I want to struggle about. Antichrist one side. Look at one side. I'm going to get my brother. Then indeed, yawo yawo. Indeed, Jesus is Lord one side. Competition is something that will can help us to go to move on. All competition. Hey, we pray here. Hey, we pray here. Hey, we are who's on her. I got one son. I can't go here. But I can't go. I can't say God of God of Israel. He tell for Israel, God, their God, who ammunition. Israel, no one in your corner house on that side. Say they don't want to see them there. Una life, una life, it's quite complicated. Israel, where una day? The God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Jacob, God of Israel. He said you are calling. They are not uh, that uh, their own God is uh, their weapon, and what they are using to defend themselves. And you are seeing it. They are using misa, using drone to defend themselves. They are not praying to defend it. You in one wretched village in Africa, you are calling the God to come and help you. <laughs> so this is the reason why we want to make sure that we come out of this mess. I am here, John. Now let's continue. Let's continue with Mazen Namikana. This is the time an Ejibo may broke us. For the men of you that don't understand Ibo, please. Oloku, Odika, Otalwa, Okwa, Jaze. Oku, Oloku, Nke kacha simpa na muka abo, Onye, Onye Ocha, Onye Oibo. Oku gehan ke oku bo, Me John de Mado. Oku geka, Obara, Oku ya ba auru, Nyele ndi Aosa, Nyele ndi Yoruba, Nyele ndi Ibo. No ga kacha simma, Na Nigeria gabo ebe ndi obula no no onwe ha nwike na emepe na ejere onwe ha na obula na biafra nwere onwe ha na otu aka ndi fulani awsa ga nwere onwe ha ndi yoruba ga nwere onwe ha nwoke akuru oku na ezi oku oku ya banuru obusi na orutru aka si na mbe go on choburu ka enwe ihe dika ihe okporo loose federation ya bu ihe ojuku kuru mba gara na aburi ka anro kwa na one nigeria hola mbia hola mbia di idiot send ga leku ya leku di idiot he ya che na e gidre mi ka block all all one day leku ya he leku leku on the doctor pilot a capture la me leku asa ha daily shi shallow leku Kena na au hani na au halikuwe on the the doctor pilot chini kwa kwako let me let me block the number hmm 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 see what a family like this here would would a grinding machine who who everybody some people don't supposed to leave I wonder what a question they don't know what I wonder what question they just wait to lose or go one agaga njo wola chuo onwe ha njo wola nuna na ba ha chuo onwe ha kubro kwa na da one Nigeria na 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 go on to buri meta mana kama obundi britain ha ha okwe shile shambia oja abare nisiri uba britain sisi uma nile nokoto ono ni hii ni hane irite na alabi afra na hii hane irite na alabi afra mele ana ufobara every year ana ufobara every year ana ufobara uwe chako ga adigiden age nwerere mbebi time for taking decision to stop this bloodshed um ta bo le nyu mori ke bo no nyo cha no na agwa nyo nyo cha ga ga set up e petition page o wona mo ke ndi bo no na no na i go trace you i go even trace you let me let me let me trace you first to find no nyo cha no mu ya can trace you for the na na biafra okay for me for me mo state 
Let me go to your friend, your mutual friend. Who brought the one I am a I benefited from it. Now, how do I have one? I have one. 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 I so you were like one of your relation, Tigan and your profile. Then you know, you on Facebook now, you disturb the people. I should go now on the people. I want people no longer. I know I am not know what to on what you believe in. Many of you didn't understand it. Small thing can take you. Man, on social media, many other people are very soon. Okay, like one of your family member. Uh huh. Okay. I want you to get trace. Okay. Kill your family member. Let me save it. So that. Uh, it had then done be here. On no on no na social media na cause or calamity. Let's continue. I want to make I won't I won't block you. I'm a happy can up here. I want to have him to the motor. Can I continue? Order. Can I do more word? Can we do more than my here? Can one for my here? By how you go on so can ever, or the long so come, in my one hour, or the bag one more. I'll sign ever, you born ever, yet upon you, Jupuneku. Nah. I want to advise many of you that are watching. Oh, an advice. This thing that happened is an advice to many of you. Eguan, 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 or Shirika. A man may play Facebook. Now, you know, here Facebook in the YouTube before Gigi and Mother Freedom Fighting. Is either get the very quiet, they're calm, they're civilized in your comment. They're, you know, you know what I mean. But it doesn't need that um, you want to be descended on Nigeria government. Never you put any relation. Don't have much what I'm asking mutual friend. Or that's mutual friend on your name on your age lady see from here here on like I trace the, the family member now. This one is the is it the this one is it the cousin also. This one yes is the cousin, his cousin. These are the cousin, this one is the brother. OG as a um, relation. This is make a make a make sure. Make no triumph. Put anything like what our brother was teaching to the Paul Ache, but I, I commend him for that. They are very careful. What we are doing is a, is this journey is a journey of life and death. Many of you didn't know. They have been all been around before. Some of you might want to be about what you are doing. All been around. All been around. Some of our problem then retaliate, retaliate. Oh, to this struggle, the struggle and the poor, the poor, the poor people. And they are doing quite a bit for the thing. No one did you want to charge. Abraham has been sent, but he will have family. Why not? And they are all who remove state ever more ever ever just on a squad. Very easy. I got I got my money in the next two weeks. It are not there. It better get you been on Facebook with your boss. I don't know why I take this in serious. No matter, I don't say we take it serious, but oh, to what? Um, now, why, why am I here, brothers? The reason why I'm here is to. Let many of you know that what is holding us are so many. We don't know our history, number one. We don't know our history. Because sometimes, you know your history will help you to know the direction you are going. We don't know, if you know how they, we are slaughtered, if they can bring you a Biafra mother, you see where they are carrying dagger, opening the stomach, bringing on unborn baby, Pregnant women. It happened. Smash their head on the wall. If you are not into religion, even that, that in alone, you may get a radical. I have all those things here. I prepare them for a very better thing. Even this, this one I show you, and it's nothing. That's the one they, 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 they showed on how they were raping our people. If they rape them, they kill them. This thing you saw now that I'm showing you, is, this is what triggered the genocide. This thing happened in 1966 in Jos. This is the reason why Ojuku say enough is enough. Chopping off our people's head, burying them alive, scattering them, killing them, you know, and they're running away. The, the missionaries could not save them. They couldn't save them. They are even, after, they are running after their own life. 
They could, the little they could do is to try to evacuate those that are, they can get hold of back to the east. But they brought them there so that they worship their own Jesus with them. This is their Christianity, missionaries. Then Ogad Alan has Halo as a Ebene Shibia. And learn anything. And this is a replica of what we are seeing today, currently. What we are seeing today? Are you getting any help from any Christian country? Nothing. Are they even speaking about it? No. Have you ever seen Pope give him warning? You mean he doesn't know all this thing that is going on? I know many of you will be blaming our cardinals. But whether cardinal or no cardinal, the Pope know that there's a problem in Nigeria. Or go and his paper. No, no, you know they see what is going on. Or who may be after there before? Now Vatican City. That is why I want to thank IPOB special in a very great special way. We have done a lot of things. We have done a lot of things. We have invaded so many offices. This IPOB you are seeing here. We have involved ourselves in so many things, cultural dance, football, just to bring ourselves out to the public. I just, where are you from? And as we are playing that football match, we are sharing our flyers. Everything about us, what we pass through is in the flyers. This is the job Mazen Namdekan have done so greatly. But they still expect him to do more. Militarily, which is not supposed to be so. All this uh, Bikuban, all this uh, E-Money, them, all this uh, Atto Eze, them. They you mean they don't know all these things. And they are gallivanting on social media. Because many of you don't know your history, you are healing them. I'm a head head worker like this. Get jump of war and poverty is a disease. Poverty is a disease. I tell you. So these are the reason why we must make sure we continue holding this black and I don't know whether I still have to play it a little bit. Let me see whether how we are they are crying. They are crying. Not They cry. They cry. But a crying, a crying is not the same. Happened in Nigeria in nineteen sixty six. Even even when we have gone to to speak in churches. You went? I don't think we've mentioned anything about the genocide. Did you hear it now? Did you hear it? Even when we are when even when we, when we went to church to speak. We didn't mention it. The reason why they are speaking now because they are getting old. They have said, now let us speak up. They have been missionary left Nigeria back to their base. Complete 50 something years. They never open up to say what happened. The missionaries. At least, had it been the, the speak out those days, the thing would have helped at least to bring the history more. They would have this thing they are talking here now. They put it in writing, write so many books because they have the first hand experience. They didn't do all those things, but they are called themselves missionaries. This one they're doing now, just okay. Well, how about it? At least to say, let us speak up. They went to church, they said they didn't want to, they didn't talk about it. Nigeria in 1966. Even even when we have gone to to speak in churches, I don't think we've mentioned anything about the genocide. Genocide. People kept it to themselves because of the fact that I don't think they wanted to bring out a bad memory. Well, we know. We, now we know. Did you hear what he said? He said people kept it to themselves because they don't want to bring up they bring out the bad memory. Then what of we that didn't happen to? We don't give a shit now. And our blogging, content creators. And it was a very bad memory of what happened. Uh, it was painful to remember. And you didn't like to speak so much in terms of the sensational. And, uh, you know, here's a really wild experience. And, uh, you, you know, people find it difficult to understand and you have to explain so much about it. I don't think I ever talked about what happened in Joss. Um, that's not something you want people to to know much about, I you would see, think, I'm, you know, especially if you're... A missionary, a missionary, a missionary, a missionary. 
You know, that, that is not even something that you want people to know much about. Ndoka. Speaking to women's group and you want support for your for your mission group. You see, I'm, I couldn't understand. No, 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 this is very, very important. Wait, this this thing she said is very important. This is very important. It's just like many of you that um it's just like many of you that are doing um project. That's that's something you mentioned. They will not give you, they will not allocate that project to you to go and do that will bring money. So she said that that is not something to mention because if, if they mention it to the missionaries, they may not send them to where they want to relocate them. Jesus is Lord. Don't insult my Jesus. You want to bring the vision. Difficult to understand and you have to explain. To understand, and you have to explain. Look, look, look at the woman. Look, look, just watch her face. Yeah. She's feeling guilty. I understand her. Pain so much about it. I don't think I ever talked about what happened in Joss. Um, that's not something you want people to to know much about. I would think, you know, especially if you're speaking to women's group and you want support for your you see, for your mission group. You see, I'm. Especially the people you want them to support your mission group. You can't speak about it. I couldn't understand why when I would talk about some of the things, uh, I would get a blank stare or a stifled yawn. Well, I, I mentioned it to my uh, daughter when I was in San Diego last weekend that I was doing this. And she says, oh, you're my father. I don't, I don't even... I don't even know about stuff like that. I didn't know what to say. But um, I did talk to her about it a little bit. But I didn't even talk to her in detail about it. I just kind of brushed it off, to be honest with you. But yeah, I probably should tell them about that. No, I have never talked publicly uh, for what I did when I transferred uh, people Inugu. to... Nugu. And, and why haven't you talked publicly about it? I don't know if anyone was interested. See? You don't know whether we're interested. I don't, I don't recall after all these years, I don't recall anyone ever asking me about the time. Thoughts of being judged for what they did or did not do also factored into the silence. And you look back at it and you think, why didn't I do that differently? Wouldn't it have been better had I done this? You know, second thoughts. You fly by the seat of your pants or by the grace of God in times like this. We have no what? training, no experience. And when that landed in our lap on that I had grown up watching missionaries live their faith, live and practice exactly. biblical principles. Uh, I watched missionaries in this time of genocide do what... Genocide. They are the ones that are calling it genocide. They, because they witness it is, is pure genocide. You see how they have mentioned the name properly, genocide. Our elders tell us, Sarah God, I love people that speak like you. I'm going to go to the just like yesterday, I said, if anything goes wrong in this talk, we blame Mazam Nanuka. I don't want to do the message. Maz, don't talk like that. Foolish idiot we don't need in this trouble. Oh, don't know that guy around the Mazam Nanuka. He made a mistake here and there. He's a human being now. Only the guidance. Some of them are hero worshippers. They can't speak up. They are not bold enough. Many of them have never... I know what, maybe some of them are not exposed to life. It's not that I'm bragging. But I'm not going to call them professors. May interact. They project may, may presentation in front of them. I am working with them now. We go together, sit around the table, do meeting. Everybody will prefer provide a solution on how to solve a problem. We interact. Some of them too feel inferior. I respect my husband and the kind, but I will not shy away to tell him where I felt that things is not going well. With respect. And I bear with only issue with all due respect. Please ever 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 look at where are the consequences. Look at every now. This is what will be the consequences. 
Like if he's, if I'm among them, when you see, then now you, you that's now now sign the one this morning. Now we put it on now now. Or they have no map. I got to run so that can wear different signatures because in our organization. Mazna kada na the can is another save your holy God. How will I be had to do that? People speak up. Una mawajich. Una mawajich. Una hoya. Una una ton hoya. Like when when I when I when I make my statement about how the rest of them should carry on their duty without minding anything anymore because they have bastardized the information coming from DSS dungeon. Hey hey, we don't buy social media. Look at this bastard material in Australia. He's telling people not to listen to Onyendo. I just hear what you are. Nah, I trended that particular month. Remember last three months. All this is due to no more. That is me. All you be telling with it. There are no more how code of conduct people. Hey, Jim, now about the social media. Ha ha, have all the thing. May cut and join. Look at how he's insulting Onyendo. Insulting our our leader. Insulting the family. Who is this guy self? Chico doesn't advise him to, to continue insulting on you. I will brainwash a man. man. They will teach you on this trouble. They know left and right. They know nothing. They know nothing. This is the list I have to bring here today. Normally, I don't even want to come out on Facebook. My aim was to come out on TikTok, but. Um, <laughs> they blocked my Tesla for two days. <laughs> so by not even two days, 20, on 21st, yeah, on 21st, I will start broadcasting again from TikTok. I started it and I showed this uh, builder of our what happened to our people. Okay, my man, my man, but here she run. I don't know how this thing come become against the TikTok rule of uh, reaching or what you standard. I don't know. They blocked me. <laughs> I can see this. This guy, but I decided to be he, he make a strong head. I don't have any Facebook, you know, I'm a major program. Over in all 1000 shy area. I'm watching when you have the So I will, I will be showing these things now. It happen. So I want to thank all of you. I know I want to thank all of you. I have no much time today. Um, come on, 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 <laughs> and I'm going to work on the machine. I can't even in the una banquet. Work on the machine. I know our people and they love life. Look, you're my lover. On Sunday has a red face again, but I will show him example. Okay, okay, okay. Put that. Ungu, ungu, bili. Okay, when we call, we have a jacket. Now, been on social media. What's the man? You have to work. I take care to the greater level. No problem. But okay, okay, be here. Okay, be here. So that any other day after I have to go. I want to leave all of you here. I want to thank you, Regina Samson. He said, no, they did not. We fed ourselves. Thank you very much. I love this. I love this. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a like, I'm a like, I'm a like, I'm a like, I'm a like. Yes, you are correct. You are correct. I love that. Sarah Gould said, they collected mirrors, ordinary mirrors from Mwabeke. Our forefathers, this is great. Some of our fathers are foolish. Yes. Yes, now some of our fathers are foolish. Look at one of them here. Look here. Look at one of them here. Look here. here. That was made because of the Look silence here. of the security agencies towards the chira, attack chira, chira, chira. on the Igbo in Lagos. Chira, look here. How about you? 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 Autopilot, uh, yeah, yeah, as, as, autopilot, Ibo, as, IPOB invitation, Ibo, you to demand the release. Can you remember how, can you remember their, their strength of demand? Can you keep demand that I have for complete 100 years? Just like we are demanding now. Release our leader, release our leader. I know what I name now I got quite a normal business. Yeah, not all of them. I agree with you. Not all of them. Not all of them. My grandfather is not one of them. My grandfather is not alone. Is I, I at least I inherited a lot of ammunition from him. My grandfather was a core hardened soldier. No, no, a law, Second World War. When he's about to die, then there was my my relation now to property. See, chora mukwa agbik, ejimo ejimo le mege. Yem hiji yem yem ungu jano. I inherited everything he has. 
Awe galant soja. Awe do you walk. Kwa kwa na kukwa ni anilu. I agree with you. Not all of them. Not all of them. Not all of them. And when a gallant man, until they die, they still believe in Biafra. So, I agree with you. Monek, I agree to all of you. Uh, here in Germany, I see you, brother. I want to begin to descend. Austin Onyek, I agree to you, brother. Abuchi Pascal say our people need to wake up to reality. Exactly. All this nonsense of Bible you say religion should be abolished. <laughs> I agree with you. I agree. Onye go go brava say yes. Yaka sacha le kuya here, le kuya. Le kuya here. Mena ngu bi china hasi mati sala. Le kuya, le kuya here. Le kuya here, come sorry, le kuya. Le kuya, oh yeah, le kuya. Le kuya. Onye na, e na po my platform, ge po my platform. I brought hook. I brought hook. Ngwa he ji ha ma yuna no go believe am. E china ha ba ro. Le kuya mna, US just give up and look at what mati sala is doing babble. Is it how you going to get the Afra? If you get the Afra, they will not allow me to practice my faith. No, a woman, no, no, a woman, no, no. Remember this, remember this. <laughs> you can't want to lose you. How come bitch up in the Catholic? <laughs> I didn't tell you. Um, you can make it. I greet you. 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 I unblock a lot of them. I unblock. I unblock, not blocking. I unblock almost 200. And maybe they've never come across this platform. This platform, I am going to get a bus as well now. I'm going to be able to get it okay. And from now, I'll be using this platform to be doing my live broadcast. Come and check you collect this one. Facing reality. Mm. My grandfather is not one of them because he rejects anything about Christianity. He fought or till he dies. Joseph Uchibes agreed to you. I see Tochuku. Mwata na chonke ya uka for. Mwana ibom ibom di okay. On your actual pattern now, on your actual pattern now, oh, it will be my argument. On your actual, on your adu when we are now, or when you are not okay, they are against. Them join, they are against. I don't want to pick up this night. On your, on this person, I want to come in now. Tell them, are you against? So that my what about that? You got to, you got to go. Oh, we better here. I give you a message. I greet you for what you are doing. I'm where people are supposed to. I don't want to pick up. I don't want to pick up about um. Uh. Yes, Gina, our sister, I have to go. I have to go. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for being here. One yama. Thank you very much. She all the way from America or Canada. Land there, Belgium. respect to our women. If not, a lot of them are annoying. Hang on Facebook is you who Lucky Rebian. Lucky, crazy world. Um, let us use it to close this music, to close this today's program. Yes, root to walk, Yagazia, Yagazia. Um, Madu Abuchi, I greet you, brother. Yeah, Regina Samson. I greet all of you. Let us use Lucky River to close this. Oh, a very fucking crazy world. No, no. That's instantaneous, buddy. Wow, wow, nonsense. I tell you. That is what Sad, Sad Guru has been asking. What is the end game of this world? If somebody asks you now, you that are watching me, what is your aim in this life now? I want to buy a car, I want to marry, I want to build a house. Yeah, what? Yeah, just just like that. And I want to make money. Yeah, huh? After making money, what next? I want to win Oh, crazy world, brothers. We'll be London. Okay, one of us. Okay, one of our brothers. Don't worry, next time we can begin to we will interact, okay? But we don't know what tomorrow One day crazy world. Nah, come up, come come up, people go. Come up, people go. In my platform, a new platform. Can I can jump? Can be 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 me on strike? Can happy idea? Can happy idea? Remember, bless brothers. But can I call you on WhatsApp? I want to ask you something. Is this a live program or outside program? Is this outside or you want other people to hear it? Be fast, brother. Oh, God, God. Um, yes, I have, I, have, um, I have to off it before they will block me. Now, a new platform. Okay, outside. Okay, don't worry. Uh, don't worry. You call me after now. After I end the program, you call me. Remember, us, brothers, we are going to convene when it's necessary. But strictly on this platform, we'll be using this platform. I'm not going to go to Methuselah or the other one. Realities of life. 
Metisla will be normal posting, but online program will be this one. I sign out, brothers.